to another tutorial. My name is Crafty Jojo and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I want to show you how to do this cute little gift pack. It's a bit like a pizza box. Um, the principle of the box is um, very little glue, just a bit of folding and it's a quick project and um, it actually has this um, piece of vellum that actually keeps it together and this is what the box opens up like so uh, it's a good size to put in some treats or smaller gifts and um, yeah it just folds up like a pizza carton it's just the last flap missing and this slides on like so and it's very pretty I've decorated it with uh, the flowers from the botanical builder die set and um, yeah I hope you're going to enjoy this project with me and um, I'm going to put all the measurements on my blog as well as uh, my shopping list so if you need to purchase any of the items that I've used feel free to do so and um, let's start first of all you need a piece of cardstock that measures 8 inches by 6 inches and you need a piece of vellum and actually I didn't have any clear vellum like plain vellum left so I have this pre-decorated one um, which is actually not from Stampin' Up! I just had this piece of vellum left so I'm using this and it measures nine three quarters of an inch by two and a quarter inch and what you need to do is you start scoring so you need your scoreboard and you will start on the short side so first of all you put the short side up and you score at one inch on each side so here we go one inch on each side and the next scoring you will do is actually on the long side and you score at two inches three inches five inches now i need to move over to here and at six inches and that's about it so the scoring is done and you will end up with something like this and the next thing you need to do is do some cutting so we are going to cut away this bit here no all right no it's not even straight all right never mind So we're going to cut, we get rid of these two bits and then we just cut in here and wedge it. And we do the same on the other side. Just cut in and wedge it. Cut it and wedge it. cut it and wedge it so this is actually what you should be left with so the next thing we want to do is we want to stamp our design onto this so I'm using uh, the falling flowers and um, I'm going to use this flourish and I'm going to use my ink pad which is called smoky slate from stamping up and i'm just gonna literally stamp it randomly all over so i've prepped this just load up your oops upside down load up your stamp and randomly start placing the design over your cardstock <laughs> How am I going to put this? I'm going to place this like so. That's our stamping done. So 
sorry for that. All right. Um, next thing is to burnish our score marks. So just use your bone folder and just burnish them. And the other side. And it's time to put the box together. And the box comes together like so. This is your bottom of the box. So you will glue these inside here. All right, can you see? This is how you're going to glue it. And I'm going to use Tombow for it. And I'll just go ahead. One and two. So all I'm going to do is place this together and I'll do the other side as well. One, two, and then do the other side. Just add a bit of Tombow. I love this glue because it sticks really well without being too wet for cardstock or paper. So here we go. And just, oh, can I still slip it, slide it? Yes, I can. All right, so this is how your box closes. And there you go, your box is already assembled. So next thing to do is get your piece of vellum and this needs some scoring. So I'll be scoring it for you now. When you uh, score vellum, you have to be careful because if you score too hard, it's actually easily going to break. So um, where are you going to score? I'm actually going to make that decision random. You know what? Because Oh, I haven't even cut my vellum. Oh, maybe I gave you the wrong measurement. Oh, the whole box is two. What did I say? The vellum was measuring two and a quarter. No, that's not right. It was uh, one and three quarters. So I still have to cut my vellum. Bear with me. I'll be back. So, right. I'm back. Sorry for that. So, um, I've actually corrected it and it now measures one and a three quarter of an inch. And, um... I didn't score it, I actually used my box and fold it like so, so you just gently pinch it here when you go around the box and you pinched it here and I pinched it here. So this is what your vellum, once you've put it around your box, should look like. It's correct that there is a gap here, we want this gap. So the next thing you need to do is get your corner punch out. I'm using this retired punch, but I'm sure many of you will have it. But um, you can use the scallop tack punch, for example, which will also create a nice end of your um, vellum strip. It's a bit fiddly because it has folds to it so you do this on all four sides I just love this punch it's a shame it's retired don't understand I'm still going to use it because it is such a beautiful design look at this how nice it is and I'm going to use my um, one eighth of an inch circle punch and just punch a hole Maybe not as off as off center as I just did. All right. Oh, sorry for that. Oh, this is really everything's going wrong here today. All right. So this is my strip of vellum. This is my box. This is how it goes round. Now it just comes to um, attaching the strings. And I actually love this stuff. And I just cut a large piece and I just pulled two of this out. So one and the second one, because I will need two. Going to fold them in half. Going to put them through here. Feed them through your hole there. And 
and do it like this and do the same here. And then just put it round my box and tie a knot and then a bow on top of the knot. So I'm going to tie a knot. Don't tie it too tight, otherwise your uh, vellum doesn't slide off easily. So, and then just tie a nice little bow with it. Like so, and make it look pretty by pulling it until its size suits your taste. I've got really dirty fingers because I put my hand right inside my ink pad, and I don't cut them at the same length. Maybe this one is slightly too long, like so. And this is our box almost ready. What's left to do is die cut with um, um, bot Botanical Builders, um, die cut these three bits and decorate the flower. And um, I'll be back with that shortly. Bear with me. All right, so I'm back and these are my die cut bits. And before I can actually um, attach them to my box, I'm going to give them a bit of a shape. So I'm going to use these ball tools here and just gently rub inside to the center of my flower to curl it up. And for this one, I'll need the bigger ball tool because it's quite a large flower. So I'm going to curl it up like so. And bend these down again. So there you go. And um, this one almost came bent out of my die because it was a bit fiddly. So there you go. This is how you do it. And to attach it to my box, all I need is a bit of glue and a glue dot. So I'm going to use some tumble for this I'm going to pop this on here i'm going to decorate the center with uh, one of these curls i really like them to be found on in the Stampin' Up! shop online. I'm going to add my shop link at the end of the video. So you can just click on it and visit my shop to do your shopping. All right, and um, this is my glue dot. And I'm going to place it on my vellum. Roughly here. Give it a good rub. And then I want this to point to there and my flower just going on there like so and then you can still arrange your bow again And this is your box. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um, I'm looking forward to um, doing my next one with you. Won't be long till I come back with the next project. And thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, all the details and measurements I will put on my blog again so you can look it up and um, my shopping list as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.